Welcome back team member, back again with another Big Brother Season 21 week review. I'm so happy, it's a happy day inside the I'm so happy. I cannot believe that actually worked. Y'all, if y'all don't know, if y'all don't know why I'm happy, spoiler alerts, because I'm pretty sure y'all already seen this episode if y'all watching this review. Spoiler alerts. <laughs> if y'all don't know, I have been quoted on this camera here telling or saying how much I'm riding for Christy. Christy's my girl. Christy's who I think is gonna win. Christy's uh, Christy this, Christy that, Christy. Even when everybody was against her, I said, I don't really like her, but I'm still rooting for Christy. Christy, Christy, Christy. This week, I thought it was over. And I picked her to win. She was one of my three picks to win, but she was like my main pick on who I thought was going to win. This is preseason before I knew anything, before I seen her inside the actual Big Brother house. But this week, I thought it was going to be over. I thought she was leaving. Either way, one of my picks were going to leave, Annalise or Christy. I picked both of them to win. Christy was my main pick, though. And I thought it was over. I really did. I honestly thought this week, Jackson won, HOH, and Vito, she's out. Because... For some reason, this house wants to do whatever the HOH says, except for when Nick was in power. That was the only time we got a blind side. And that blind side didn't even, it doesn't even really count because Cliff came right back. But whatever. This week, Christy pulled off a move that solidifies why I picked her in the first place. Why she should win this game. I don't understand why a lot of people don't like her as a game player. I didn't like her as a personal because of as a person because of the stuff she did and talked about Kimmy for and I didn't like the bashing but Christy do lie a lot but I mean like, like a lot of big brother winners like Derek lied a lot and he won you know like uh, um, Paul lied a lot but he lost twice but anyway like a lot of big brother Dan he he lied and he won like a lot of winners lie a lot so I don't understand why people dislike her as a game player. I can understand disliking her as a person. But a game player, why? She's doing a good job, a heck of a job, especially considering she pulled this move off. But let's get right to the week review. So, Slip and Slide is usually one of my favorite HOH competitions, but last year I don't think it was that good, and this year it wasn't really that good. Um, oddly enough, those are the only, uh, those are the only two that I actually... Sorry I said um like that. <laughs> the, oddly enough, those are two of the only ones that I saw live. But I don't know. I just feel like in previous years, it was more hard to fill it up. And this year, it was like so easy to me. Like, you just walk across, put it in. Walk across, put it in. Like, other years, I've seen, like, the thing was really, really, the scooper was really small. And it had a hole in it or something. Or, like, the, the container was really hard to put the stuff in. Like, these two years, I feel like it got way easier. But Jackson won, and once I saw it was that competition, I kind of figured Jackson won. I don't know if I said that inside my my last review. I, by the way, I'm back home. I'm back home in the regular studio. So I don't know if I said that inside the other review that I thought Jackson was going to win, but I thought he was going to win, and he did win. It looked like Nick was going to win, though. I think it would have been nice if Nick won, because if Nick won, I really do believe that he would have put up Jackson and Holly. And this week would have been way different, but... Julie's hair. Oh, as soon as this week starts, like, uh, first thing I see is Julie's hair. And, like, it took me, I was like, huh, do you like her hair or do you not? Talking to my grandma who was sitting right next to me. She wasn't watching the show or nothing, but I don't know. It was just, like, it took me by surprise. Like, how is Julie's hair usually? I don't know, but I never noticed it, but I noticed this one. She announced that it was prank week. I didn't really know what that was. She said it was going to be a twist. We'll get to that later. I'm already at Slip and Slide, HOA's Jackson 1. He nominates Christy and Annalise. He debated on who he was going to put next to Christy. He just wanted Christy out. That's why I really thought Christy was leaving this week. He did so much. And, oh my God. So the Deep Sea Veto, I actually like this Veto a lot. This Veto, I feel like I would never ever win it if I was on Big Brother. So if I'm ever HOH and y'all don't like the idea, the, the nominees that I put up, and you want something big to happen, Big Brother Producers, just put this as a veto, and I will probably not win it. Or if I'm the nominee and you really don't want me to win the veto, just put this as the veto. I would never win this crap. Like, I, w I can see myself getting so anxious and frustrated with this. I never think. I, w I There's no way I could win that crap. Every year they do it, I'm just like, how do they keep pushing themselves? Christy get mad at Nick after the veto, but I'm trying to figure out for what. Because last time, Christy was on the block. She picked Nick to win. The, uh, to play for her in the veto, Nick was loyal to her, I feel like. I feel like Nick really did want Christy to get to the six with him. Like, I I personally was kind of mad at Christy for going at Nick because she blew up his game and all that, and I felt like it was for nothing. But since she stayed, I can't be mad at it. But if she would have left and did all that, I wouldn't have liked it. But she stayed, so. Because I just feel like 
Nick was on your side, so why are you throwing him under the bus and doing all this? But she, uh, she's such a good game player. Taco Tuesday fight. Well, Nick complains to Jackson. Jackson instigates Christy to do the fight. They didn't show this part on the show, but I wish they would have. Christy actually was talking to Jackson saying, I don't think I'm going to do it. I, it's not in me. I'm not that type of person. I want to go out with class, and I feel like if I do it, I'm not going to stay. Soon as she was saying all that, Nick made the decision for her and busted in the room and started fighting with her. So they did it in front of everybody. It was a funny little audience. Everybody was looking all, you know, scared and, you know, Tommy. <laughs> but it was kind of funny, y'all. Y'all should watch the fight live. It's somewhere on YouTube. Y'all can watch the whole thing. Uh, Nick? Like, I feel like both of them was, like, Nick made good points to Christy. Like, when Christy was asking him, who you gonna put up? Who you gonna put up? All this, this, that, and that. Nick should have just said, "Who you gonna put up? Who you putting up next to me?" So then, at least you would have. He would have got. Well, she could have just said Nicole or Cliff, really though. If she would have said Nicole or Cliff, yeah. But that would have been a tie vote. I don't know. I don't know. It was a good fight. Y'all should look it up. But at first, I didn't like it because I thought like Christy's still gonna go, and now she just ruined the relationship with Nick as a friend, like. But she ended up staying, so good for her. Uh, Holly flips. I feel like Holly is the reason why Christy stayed. Because Holly already was on the fence with getting rid of Christy. Because Holly genuinely likes Christy. A lot of people genuinely like Christy inside this house. It's weird. Jessica, Holly, Annalise, Tommy, Nick actually did. I'm going to keep saying that. Nick really did like Christy. Bella, Kimmy. Like, all these people, like, they really liked Christy. Me? <laughs> Shoot. Um... So, Holly flips. She pretty much got the whole house to flip at that point. Because she tells Jackson. Jackson tells, Ugh, I'm just starting to dislike Nick so much. I mean, Nicole so, even more and more. Because Kat was my favorite because Nicole does nothing. And I feel like she's just such a follower. She does whatever they tell her. Because if she really wanted Christy to go, she should have just kept voting her out. And so should have Cliff. But whatever. As soon as they hit the live show, they mentioned Julie's hair, and Julie mentioned her own hair, saying, like, I was inspired by y'all. Uh, Annalise gave a really good speech. I really liked her speech. And that's why Annalise left. She really did nothing. She was like a dead fish this whole week. She did nothing. She thought, I'm such not a target. There's no way I'll ever get voted out. Don't you think that could make you a target? Not being a target can make you be a target. In fact, not being a target can make you the biggest target. Number one biggest target. So, uh, Christy gave a good speech too. I can tell she was trying not to cry. I wish Christy in the diary room would be more savage. Like, act like all of this that she's doing inside the house is a show and she's actually like a real savage. Like, she, all of this crying is for a show. Yes, I'm saying all this to Holly and Jackson, but if I stay and I win HOH, I'm putting both of them up and not Nick. Like, I wish she was a savage like that, but she's not. She really is genuinely being herself. But, Jill, Christy lies a lot. Like, she lies a lot, a lot. And she will be talking like, I'm not a liar. Everyone else in here is a liar. Blah, blah, blah. But she lies a lot, probably the most. She really does. Nick was telling the truth, and she was saying, like, you're a liar. Christy's a good game player, though. She can be the biggest liar, but she's a good game player. So, of course, I'm back to my regular studio so I can talk about the non-shoutouters. So, the non-shoutouters when it went to the vote was Jessica didn't, didn't shout anyone out, and neither did Holly. Everyone else did. It was a five to one vote. I was screaming. I was smiling so big when um, Holly voted out Annalise. Christy did it. Christy did it. My favorite inside the house. The person I want to win is Christy. Period. Annalise gave a fine interview. Nothing special went on. Well, the biggest takeaway from her interview to me was that she would have still voted and worked with Nick. But my thing is, Annalise, if you would've won HOH, uh, well, I guess she would've put up. Okay, if Annalise was still in the house and Jackson left, if let's say Jackson was gone, Cliff was gone, Nicole, uh, well, she got a lot. I was about to say, I was about to say she, there's a couple people that she wouldn't put up. But then I was just naming all them and I'm like, oh, she got a couple people who she would put up. Cause she could put up Jackson, She's not loyal to Jackson. She, well, in the interview, she thought he was loyal to her. I don't know. But I know she would have put up Cliff, Nicole, or Jessica. She's not loyal to them at all. So she got she got options. Uh, and at that point, like, those that's weeks, like three weeks later. So she could have another 
uh, target within the, her little circle. But I wonder who was she most loyal to, Tommy, Nick, Christy, or Holly? Probably not Holly, because they, they went at each other all the time. But I feel like they would go at each other like sisters, though. Uh, we get a bird prank montage. I don't watch the feed, so I didn't see any of that. But it was kind of semi-funny a little bit, I guess. But I probably wouldn't even stayed up and did all that, because I feel like there's no way I would win that either. Uh, HOH, I was rooting at this point. I was trying to, like, be strategic about it and figure out who should I root for inside this HOH. Because I felt, I, and I, I, now looking back on it, I'm like, why didn't I root for Holly? Spoiler alert, Holly ends up winning. But... I wrote down I'm rooting for Jessica because this is the way I saw it. I felt like Jessica would put up would put up probably Nick and Jackson. That's what I was thinking. If she put up Nick and Jackson, if Jackson comes down, she would probably put up Tommy or Holly. And then we can get Jackson out. Because I I'm coming from I want Jackson to leave next. I want Jackson to be gone at the end of the week. So who H O H could I Cause I feel like Nicole and Cliff would have put up Tommy and Christy. And I don't want them to see the block at all. Nick would have targeted Christy, but I feel like he would have put up like Christy and Jackson, maybe. Christy and Jackson. And I feel like Christy would have went home at the end of the week if it was still Christy and Jackson or Christy and Holly. Christy would have left, in my opinion. So And then like it would, I just that's just what I thought. Like I just wrote down Jessica. I feel like Jessica I would have the biggest the best chance of getting Jackson out instead of Nick at the end of the week. Uh Holly gets fifty on oh, so basically they thought it was gonna be a question for the bird stuff, but then they turned around. That was pretty cool how they turned around and it was like the whole backyard with something else. HOH was kind of lame, though, because Holly got 50 in the first try. Like, god dang. Well, I remember last year when they did this with Angela, it was way more hard. I wish it was more like that. So, yeah, the la last, last two, or the lowest scoring, the bottom two scorers will get, we got there eventually, will get punishments. When it was Jessica's turn to go, I genuinely cracked up laughing. Like, I... I have more of a reaction to Jessica going than when Holly got 50 on the first try. Like, and, and uh, Holly's bounced. It landed in like 49 or 48, and it bounced to 50, so that was pretty cool. But Jessica, <laughs> she slid it, and it bounced up, and it came right back down. So Jessica got a punishment. It's going to be Jessica, Cliff, and Nicole. How ironic that is Cliff's whole alliance. Cliff's angels minus cat. Well, yeah. That's the dumbest H O uh Alliance name ever. But anyway, yeah, so they all get punishment. Holly's HOH. I feel like I should have been rooting for her because Holly's going after Holly's going after Nick. But who's she going to put up next to Nick? Who did she put up before? She put up, who did Kat get out? Or who did Holly get out? Holly got out. She didn't get out Jack. Or did she? No, she didn't get out Jack. Was she HOH before Jerry? Did she get out Bella? No, she didn't get out Bella. Sam? She got out Sam. So yeah, so she wants Nick out. So she so Holly will put up Nick and I feel like she won't put up Christy though. I really feel like Holly won't put up Christy. So maybe Holly Oh, Holly might put up Jessica. Because Holly was upset with Jessica um from the cat fallout. I remember that. So she might put up Jessica. She'll put up Jessica and Nick. Nick will go home, which is fine. I really would prefer, or maybe if she put up, this is this is what I would like to see. Oh, I forgot. But it, uh, this is what I would like to see. If she put up Jessica and Nick, Nick wins veto, and then she puts up Cliff and Jessica, and Cliff goes home. Because at this point, I don't want Cliff to be in the house no more. Or even Nicole at this point. I I'd rather Nicole still be in there than Cliff. Um, but the, then we come back from commercial and uh, cur uh, oh my gosh, Julie tells us that prank week, we have an impact on it. We will be voting for a prankster and they will get half of Holly's power. I wonder will it be anonymous? Anonymous? Anonymous. <laughs> Anonymous, <laughs> um, because I want it to be Christy. Give Christy the power if she will put up Jackson. I need somebody to get the power that will put up Jackson. So maybe I should be voting for. Maybe I should be voting for 
Jessica, actually. Is Jessica becoming my favorite player? I rooted for her for HOH, and now I'm about to campaign for her to get prankster. Jessica might be my favorite player. Wow. But I feel like she, she has no alliance right now, really. And she's... Well, she has no final two. She has no... She's the biggest underdog in the whole house. In the whole house. Jessica, I'm starting a campaign right now for Jessica to get the power. Because I feel like Jessica will put up Jackson. It will make Christy feel good, though, if she got, um... If she got the power. If Christy got the power... But the question is, would Christy put up Jackson? I need somebody to get that power that's going to put up Jackson. And I feel like Cliff, Nicole, Nick. Cliff, Nicole, Nick, Jackson. That's half the house right there. They will all put up Christy. All of them will put up Christy, I feel like. Tommy, I'm not sure who he would put up. I'm not sure who he put up. Maybe he'll put up Cliff. Yeah, I think he'll probably put up Cliff. Something stupid. Mm, not a fan of Tommy. Tommy need to go too. Tommy might win this game. Tommy, I can see Tommy winning this game. I can see Cliff winning this game, and I can see Holly winning this game. At this point, I feel like those three got the best shot at winning this game. Cause Cliff, everybody respects when they leave out. Like they all respect his gameplay. He haven't really done anything that wrong. Uh, Holly, she, out of everybody in Grateful, she is like the least. She's the best of the worst when it comes to Grateful. She hasn't really done anything that bad. She just followed and went along with stuff. Um, and who else did I say? I said Cliff, Holly, and Tommy. I feel like, because everybody in the house likes Tommy. But why can't they see through Tommy and what he's doing? I don't know, y'all. But that's it for this video, y'all. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the video on all forms of social media. Let's talk about this season inside the comments down below and how much it sucks. No, just to, it is better. This season is now better than season 19 officially. At first, I was like, Ooh, I don't know, uh, but it is better than season 19, and it's better than season 15 too. Season 15 to me was a good season if you take away. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I take that back. I take that back. But <laughs> y'all, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the video. All for me. Let's talk about this in the comments down below. Check out all the other videos from me. And until next time, catch you later.